Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. Today will be another low impact only workout. It'll still be high intensity. You'll need a set of hand weights, one hand weight for rounds one and three, two hand weights for rounds two and four. Let's kick it off with our two minute warm up. Feet facing out to the corners of the room. Squat tap, let's set our form. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head and brace the abs. Let this core hold your posture nice and tall. Come a little bit lower, arms up in front of you. And when you're ready, a little jab to the front. I want you to imagine that one of these jabs is going to hit you right in the tummy and you want that core to be nice and braced so you don't need to hold your breath you don't need to suck your belly button into the spine but you do need to brace the abs meaning that you're kind of contracting all of your abdominal muscles for three two and one let's turn it into uppercuts little pivot of that foot imaginary punching bag right up in front of your face so you're not just flopping the arms up you're giving it a real punch and those abs are still braced for three two and one let's turn it into cross hooks again punching bag right in front of your body so the arms just aren't flopping over no cheating for three two and one let's keep this wide stance and let's do side lunges and you're pulling up something imaginary off the floor nice long tall torso for three two and one stay here squat and squeeze I want you to drive up through the heels and squeeze those glutes at the top of the move and booty goes back so knees aren't going forward booty goes back for three squeeze two squeeze and one squeeze little shuffle on the spot I'm going to show you the first move one hand weight for round one roll the shoulders back and down hand up in the air brace the abs so that your butt's not sticking out it's neutral step squat knee up side lunge knee up as you throw the weight down here we go step squat knee up side lunge knee up so by a throw down I really mean nice and controlled so this is also a core move so down up lunge up squat it and side lunge two one so remember don't let the butt stick out we don't want it all the way under we want neutral spine by bracing the abs so we're going to do a squat to a side lunge here we go squat knee up side lunge knee up make sure that you're doing a nice controlled movement with the arms and that you're not just letting momentum swing you around for three two one rest and watch arms overhead rear lunge with the tricep extension knee comes up weight comes forward or just tap here we go rear lunge knee comes up or rear lunge and tap and try and keep these elbows nice and close to the head maybe adjust the way that you're holding the hand weight if you find it easier to cup the bottom of it to come back into that tricep extension two one so you can maybe try holding it under here other leg rear lunge pull the arm through or rear lunge and tap here we go rear lunge and pull through or tap guys try and keep these elbows as close to the head as possible I'm not sure mine are that close but you get the idea come nice and deep into the rear lunge don't let those abs take any time off two one all right guys we're gonna do it the opposite way start with the tricep extension forward lunge knee up here we go forward lunge knee up and tricep or forward lunge tap and tricep whatever you're more comfortable doing keep those abs engaged come nice and deep into that tricep extension a few more five seconds three two one roll the shoulders back and down other leg I'm gonna grab a little rest start and tricep extension here we go forward lunge and knee up or forward lunge and tap whatever you're more comfortable doing if you're standing on one leg with the knee up you're working the core a little bit more for balance you're working the standing leg a little bit more 
two, one. All right, guys, you'll know this one. Lateral raise, side lunge, crunch. For the crunch to be effective, brace the abs. Here we go. Side lunge, crunch. Keep this other hand on the tummy. Feel those abs engage. Brace the abs. So just be mindful of the abs. Doing some work here. Crunch, two, one. Of course, also working the arm, working the inner thigh, working the standing leg. Catch your breath, we're gonna go this side. Here we go. Side lunge and crunch. Holding this arm, hand on the abs and feeling these abs brace and brace. Almost one down, guys. Two, one. All right, one down, three to go. I didn't have any water today. All right, you're gonna grab both weights, roll the shoulders back and down, palms facing up. Come into a low squat. Step one, two, squeeze up, squeeze up. One, two. So two walking squats, two standing squats. Here we go. Step one, two, stand and squeeze, stand and squeeze. One, two, Stand and squeeze, stand and squeeze. Stay low in those walking squats with a bicep. Two, stand and squeeze, stand and squeeze. All right, guys, small V, rest and watch. Curtsy with an arm push, step, curtsy with an arm push. Here we go. Curtsy, wide step, curtsy. Let's try and get a nice pace here. It is low impact. So we're not jumping over. We're just doing a nice, big, low step. Stay low, pushing that arm out. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Okay, rest and watch. Rear lunge, arm comes forward, knee up, as you pull this arm back into a row. Here we go. Rear lunge, squeeze that shoulder blade back. Squeeze it back. Put all your focus in that shoulder blade. Squeeze it back. Come nice and deep into that rear lunge and squeeze that shoulder blade. Three seconds, two, one. Well done, guys. Other side. So rear and squeeze that shoulder blade. Here we go. Rear lunge and squeeze. Put all that focus in that shoulder blade. Okay, 10 seconds, I'm counting the time down. I am feeling it. Might say more about me than about the workout. Two, one. All right guys, we're gonna do a W. We're gonna do rear lunge, knee up with a V, side lunge, knee up with a V. Here we go, rear, sorry, side. So we're doing the V as we come out of the side lunge and then the rear lunge. So the W down, V up. V up, W down, V up, W down. Didn't know my own workout then. All right, I'm gonna catch my breath. We're gonna do this leg. So W down, V up, here we go. W down, V up to side, V up. Really working these shoulders, coming deep into that lunge and deep into the rear and side lunge. After this, get ready to do a runner's lunge. Step the leg straight back in a bicep curl. Drop the weights, step to plank, step forward, straighten the back into bicep curl. Here we go. Drop the weights, step back, step forward, straighten the back. So we're doing a bicep curl as we straighten the back into that runner's lunge. Same leg. So down, plank, forward, straight back. Down, plank, forward, straight back. All right, guys, switching legs. So the leg is straight back behind you. I'm gonna get my breath. Here we go. Bring the weights down, plank, forward, straight back. We're getting a nice stretch 
in the hip flexor as we come up into the runner's lunge with a bicep curl. Let's go guys. Three, two, one, and done. All right guys, you get a drink. Next time I'll make sure I bring my water bottle. Catch your breath. Again, make sure you're not doing a C with your back. Engage the abs, arms up, squat, knee up to side lunge. Here we go. Squat it, knee up to side lunge. Let's get a nice, consistent pace. Low impact, but still, for me, high intensity. Hopefully for you too. Three, two, one. Guys, keep those abs braced. We're gonna do the other side. Squat to side lunge. Let's go. Squat it, knee up, side lunge, knee up to squat. When you're squatting, remember, booty goes back. Might make a t-shirt, booty goes back. Let's go guys. Five seconds, three, two, one. Well done guys. Okay, start with the weight overhead. Let's try and cup the bottom of the weight to make it a bit easier. Tricep extension, pull through. Here we go. Tricep, pull through. Or tap. Abs are engaged. Keep that back up tall if you're getting tired and losing your balance. Just tap this foot. We're working the core and the standing leg a little bit more, but you're still getting a workout with just a tap. I'm gonna catch my breath. Get ready. Here we go. And rear, pull through. Try and keep the elbows as close to the head as possible. I see I'm getting a bit sloppy. When I get tired, abs engage. Back up tall. Let's try and keep our form. Two, one. All done, guys. We're gonna spin it around. Start in tricep extension, forward lunge with your right leg. Here we go. Forward, stand. Bring it back to a tricep extension. Or tap it up if that's easier, if you're losing your balance. I know I'm feeling it. Three, two, one. Other side. I am feeling it today. Three, two, one. Forward lunge and pull. Forward and pull. If you like, just tap the foot back. Forward lunge, pull. Let's keep these abs nice and engaged. Let's go guys, last time we're doing it today. Two, one. Well done guys. Remember, side lunge, crunch it. So I'm not crunching over, but I am engaging the abs. Here we go. Side lunge, crunch. Side lunge, crunch. I'm definitely putting my mind into my abdominals being part of the crunch of my abs being engaged when I stand up, engaged. So you want your core to help you lift up your posture. Okay, here we go. Side lunge and crunch. Nice and deep in the side lunge. Last time we're doing it today. Let's go guys. Let's try and focus on our form. Few more, five seconds, two, one. All done, guys. If you remember to bring water, grab a drink. <laughs> remember, as we do these low side step squats, don't let the knees come forward, push that booty back. Step for two with a bicep curl. Get ready, two, one, here we go. Step one, two, Stand and squeeze, stand and squeeze. One, two, stand and squeeze, stand and squeeze. I want you to squeeze those glutes when you stand. Squeeze, squeeze. One, two, 
squeeze, squeeze. Give you a little bit more of a rest. All right, guys, make that V. Curtsy with an arm push. Wide step, curtsy with an arm push. Here we go. Curtsy and curtsy. Let's do a nice, consistent pace. Slow it down if you need to. Remember, this is your workout. Do what feels comfortable for you without exhausting yourself. Two, one. Okay, guys, well done. Okay, this leg's gonna go back. We're gonna bring it forward and pull in a, in a row. My brain doesn't work. Squeeze it back and squeeze it back. Almost there, guys. Stick with it. 10 seconds. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Engage the core. Stand and squeeze. Two, one. Other side. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's just me today, but boy, am I feeling it. Here we go. Bring it down, squeeze, and squeeze. Maybe that's what happens when you work out without water. All right, guys, bring it nice and deep into that rear lunge. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, guys, make that W. We're gonna do W back, V up, W side, V up. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. So a W to a V, W to V. After this, we've got our two core moves and then we are done. V for victory. Two, one. Well done, guys. Have a little rest. All right, guys, get ready to do the other side. Start with that. W, here we go. W back, knee up, arms up, knee up, arms up. So rear, up, side, up. Let's work those shoulders. A nice V, so you're not going straight up overhead. We're out on a slight angle. Let's go, guys. Three, two, one, half one. All right, come down into that runner's lunge. In a bicep curl, arms come to the ground. Step back to plank, step forward, come up. Here we go. Drop the hands, plank, forward, up. Down, back, forward, up. Engage the core. We're working the leg, we're working the core, we're working the arms, we're working the shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, switching sides. Last move of the day. Have a little rest here. Getting an awesome stretch of the hip flexor. Here we go. Bring it down, step back, forward, bicep. Come on guys, stick with it. We have 10 seconds. Yes, I am counting down today. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You are done guys. Grab your mats, well done. All right, put one leg forward. We'll get a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch. Open up that leg, breathe into it, arm comes up, catch it, breathe into the shoulder. <sighs> nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Reach the arm up, hand down the center of the back, press down on the elbow with your other hand and very gently lean over the side of your body. Come back to center, flex this foot and come down with a nice long flat back as far as you're comfortable to stretch out this hamstring. Breathe into it, foot flat back on the floor, tuck these back toes under, keep the knee on the floor or lift the knee up. Hands come up to the ceiling, look up in between the hands, make sure the shoulders are back and down. Bring your left hand on the inside of your right foot, very gently leaning and looking up at the other hand. Back knee can be on the floor or off the floor. Come back to centre, switching feet. Other foot comes forward, pressing, pressing through the other hip. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Arm comes up, catch it. Breathe into the shoulder, nice and deep. Turn it into a tricep stretch. Push down the centre of the back. Very, very gently 
leaning over the side of the body, feeling that stretch all the way down through the hip, back to centre, push the body back, flex this foot, come forward with the flat back, as far as you need to to feel this stretch, breathe into the hamstring, foot flat back on the floor, tuck these toes, keep this knee on the floor if you like, or straighten it, hands up to the ceiling, looking up at the hands, your right hand on the inside of your left foot, gently turn and pivot, looking up at the other hand, coming back down to centre, knees on the floor, come back into a crouch, very, very slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time, keep the knees slightly bent, slowly, slowly coming up, head's the last one to come up, very slowly, roll the shoulders back for one, two, three, big arm circles for one, two, three, pull the hands back and down, open up this chest, let's do a quick quad stretch, lesson of the day guys, always bring your water to the workout, I definitely missed it today, maybe I felt like the workout was harder than it really was because I was a little dehydrated, so I apologize for that, but a very good lesson for all of us. Thank you again for working out with me. Please leave any comments or suggestions down below. Eat well, treat your body well, be kind to yourself, congratulate yourself for doing a workout today, and I'll see you next time.